Okay, so I'm super bad at tutorials, so I apologize for how disorganized this may be. I'm going to briefly explain a few things, do the skip a few times so you can see the inputs, and then I'm going to talk about some other things. So if you're just here for the inputs, the first half of this video is what you're here for. Two things to note. One is for the third jump, I use controller. Second thing is, once my first uh, lineup is set up, such as this, I will no longer adjust my camera. This includes moving my mouse, and this includes the right analog stick on my controller. So anyways, like I said, if you're just here for the inputs, here you go. Try not to waste anyone's time. And then afterwards, I'll talk about the inputs, I'll talk about the general lineup, and I'll talk about some other things. This is not much slower than uh, Angel Skip with full controller. Uh, if anything, you're just losing a few inputs based on the four-way directional control of keyboard as opposed to the full control you have with the analog stick, the full 360. So I feel like that should suffice for inputs, and I'm going to talk about some things. So the rest of this you might find kind of pointless or redundant, but I feel it's important to cover all bases. So, first thing, bindings. The reason I have the bindings set up as they are is because I use the controller for the first, third jump. You can use any bindings you want, but the reason they're set up like that is so once my first lineup is complete like this, I pick up my controller with my right hand. So after the second jump, I just move my left hand on my controller. Secondly, to note, the reason I do not move my camera is to be, should be pretty obvious, but it's to stop any... Oh, I wasn't really paying attention. Is So I don't do something like this. It's just to limit as many variables as possible. When I was doing Angel Skip with controller, I found that a lot of the time, I would slide out on that jump. See, that's what... Uh, well, fuck. <laughs> but I would slide out on the second jump. Um, so I just decided to start doing mouse and keyboard, and because of how... Uh, precise the inputs are i found it to be a lot more consistent so the general lineup if you don't know just, you sh you already know angel skip you'll know is just to basically run in a straight line so you're to the right of this wooden post aiming for the left side of that metal cage and jumping somewhere on this brick make sure you don't aim too far to the left you kind of want to aim about where my uh, health bar is somewhere around there and my inputs so for the first part of the skip right there when i'm actually running like I said, I will use my mouse to line it up occasionally. So right there, I use mouse a little bit. But otherwise, I'm just holding Shift and W. When I actually jump, I switch to start holding D. So that way, I'm running at a 45 degree angle on the cage. And once I land, I spam the fuck out of spacebar. There's two reasons to spam the fuck out of spacebar. One is to get the jump. And secondly, there are times where you'll kind of slide up the cage. I can't easily replicate this. But you will start to slide up the cage. You'll still want to jump. I found with this skip, it's kind of hard to miss it. The hardest part is actually getting the first jump. So I'm more often than not, if you're not paying attention, that's the part you'll fuck up. But if you're actually paying attention, uh, it, it's actually really hard to miss the skip. Um, I'll try to do this one fully with mouse and keyboard. So yeah, you know, as you can see, it's totally possible to do it like that. I just prefer switching to controller. I think that's all the points I need to cover. So hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. So yeah. <laughs> 